Hello, my name is Femi Akonde, and you're watching The Big Issue. Feminism has undoubtedly given women opportunities. It has opened doors that perhaps were shut against women in the society. But there's a popular belief that this movement must have given rise to the increasing number of broken marriages in Nigeria. Do you agree? Some people also say it has caused the spike in the rate of single mothers in today's parenting. Could it be that the men can no longer put up with a level playing field that favorably allows women to compete for opportunities? Or is it also that the women are just shaking off the shackles of masculine control? Feminism has caused many women to walk the path of life alone. And in some cases, this has rubbed off on family values. Today we ask, could the feminist ideology have done more harm than good to the Nigerian woman? It's going to be a very hot debate, so I advise you to stay tuned. You're watching The Big Issue. Welcome back. We ask, has feminism done more harm than good? And to debate this topic, I have two beauties here in the house. Um, first, Joy Isi Bewaji. Did I get that pronunciation right? Yeah. Okay, Joy Isi Bewaji is a media practitioner, a social commentator, and above all, she's a feminist. Welcome, Joy. <laughs> On the flip side is Titi Balogun. Titi is a writer and a social analyst. She's also known as CC Titi. She thinks feminism has done more harm than the good it has set out to deliver. She's saying the feminist ideology is silently destroying the Nigerian woman. Good to have you here, Titi. Thank you. Now, Titi, why do you think feminism, it's the in thing now. People are talking about it. it people are advocating for it but you feel it has done more harm and maybe we're pushing it too far. Am I correct? Yes, yes. So why do you hold that standpoint? Uh, well, just like you have said, um, feminism has done more harm than good to the average Nigerian No, it's woman. not me saying. I'm just trying okay. to balance both sides. Okay, okay, okay. But the thing is, it has even distorted the natural order of things in which God has designed everything. Both man and woman has a role to play. So, but if you look at if you, if you look around you nowadays, the female sex is trying to dominate the world. Feminism has gone to the extreme uh, it, it it has it has been pushed to the level that we now see men as trash i think that alone is like making um the upcoming generation to think that men no longer hold value in the nigerian society and that is very very wrong joy <laughs> she said feminism has caused people to see men as trash mm. i feel really bad because i'm a man but now let me hear your own argument Okay, well, I don't, I don't agree with her, obviously. I don't think that feminism is making anybody feel like trash. Um, most of the, I think where you're coming from is the fact that a lot of people on the internet say things like men are scum, uh, men are trash, especially when we hear stuff about domestic violence, another case of domestic violence. So people come around on Twitter and start a hashtag on men are scum, and these people are not feminists. They are probably just people that are aggrieved, they are upset, they are angry that another woman is dying in a marriage or dying in a relationship. It has nothing to do with feminism. I have never used that hashtag before because I don't believe men have come. So it is that does that. You cannot um, use that hashtag to define what feminism stands for. Because anybody that is upset with a dying woman in a marriage has a right to do whatever they want to do. So, but that, that is always the situation with feminism. People, uh, people say whatever they want and they use it and say that that is what feminist, fem f feminism stands for. And that's not true. The simple definition of feminism is such an elementary definition. I have even promised myself I won't talk about it again, but I'm here. <laughs> cook or cook, I'm here. The simple definition, if you check your dictionary, if you check Google, is equality for all. And what does that mean? It means that whatever a man can achieve, a woman should be allowed, not that she can, a woman should be at least allowed to try. To try. That's all. This whole topic that we keep going back and forth in Nigeria about this is really boring sometimes. But the, the truth is, it is just the fact that if I want to be a scientist, I should be allowed to be a scientist. I have two daughters. If one of them comes and says, you know what, I want to be an astronaut, I don't want to get married, I want to be an astronaut, I have no right to tell her 
to become a family woman. I will support her dream mm. because she's a human being first True. before she can be a mother or anything else. So I will not discriminate. I will not tell her that, no, you cannot be an astronaut because you are a woman. I would never say that. And that is what feminism stands for. The fact that women should be able to achieve whatever they aspire to without anybody reminding them of their gender. That's all. Women's rights. <laughs> they say women's rights are human rights. Yeah. You agree with that? Yes, I do. But you don't still believe that um, if you're not a feminist, then you're a sexist? Uh, well, actually, she has defined feminism, which is true. I am also totally in support of women aspiring to greater heights. But the thing is, in Nigeria today, 98%, in fact, let me just put it, 99% of women, after pursuing their career, getting married, most of them don't value men the way they are supposed to value their men. And this is just simple. If you check the statistics of divorce, over the years, you see that the more women are getting to that point where they get their career, they get fulfilled and everything, Fam family values is dropping. Family, no, people, women, like, let me just call it the 21st century women. Women of these days do no longer see marriage as something that is vital. They see it as something that is optional, that if you just get in and the man is not fulfilling your dreams, he's not fulfilling your fantasy, you have the option of getting out. And those kind of things don't happen in the days of our mothers, of our grandmothers, all those things. But right now, most Nigerian women see, uh, they see that marriage, let me start on the angle of marriage, they see marriage as something that you get in and get out. No option. That's just it. It's <laughs> Now, is feminism the cause of um, what she's saying, that um, broken homes, people yeah. okay, walking out of um, their marriages, is it cause of feminism? Well, you know, it's the very interesting thing about talking about feminism in Nigeria is we always narrow it down to marriage. Always. Because we are not very ambitious people. Well, that's where family values come from. You have from. said, yo, let me say my own. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, we're not very ambitious people. That is the only thing we think about when we think about feminism. Somebody wants to steal their husband or leave their husband. I am not interested in any woman's marriage. I don't care. My own is, young girls should be allowed to dream. Now, when you say that feminism, 99% of the time, it is eroding the value, the family value. I remember when I was young, my stepmom, I used to, you know, we used, I used to go out with her. We used to go to the market together. I was probably like, what, eight? And then I used to go, to, I used to go everywhere with her. Salon, market. And then when we go to the market, she has her customers and they talk about their husbands. They complain about their husbands. Mm. They are embittered with men. When we go to the salon, the same thing. I was a child. The same thing. They will talk about their men. They will talk about angry, how they are cheating on them, how they are doing this, how they are doing that. And I happen to be a, a daddy's girl. So when I go home, I will still hang out with my father and his beer drinking friends. Mm. And they never talk anything bad about women. They just talk about women and what they like about women. So this idea that women are leaving marriage is not today. The only problem is your mothers did not have the audacity to make a choice. This is 2017. People. Well, I don't agree. Let me finish. As feminism giving people, them that voice. People, yes. Feminism allows you to walk away from anything that wants to destroy you. I am not saying that marriage is destroyed, but we cannot, we cannot hide the fact that a lot of marriages need to be reviewed because of the abuse. Last year, a pediatrician, an educated woman was killed mm -hmm. in her marriage. Why did she not leave after so many years of being abused? Because she didn't believe that she had the right to walk away from something that destroys you. Now, when a feminist comes and says, you know what? You are first a human being before you be a married woman. Because if you stay in a marriage that is not good, you probably will die. Would you rather be dead than be alive? So it's very simple. It's very straightforward. You shouldn't die in a marriage. There is no woman, no matter how feminist she is, no matter how radical she is, if she's in a good marriage, if she's in a marriage that treats her right, there is no way she's going to leave. There is no way. Chimamanda is probably one of the biggest figures of feminism, feminism in yeah, Africa. True. And she's happily, happily married. She has not left her husband. She may not ever leave him. Because what? She is, he is good to, he, to her. Maybe because you of the environment that. that he is in. And even if she decides to stay because he's bad, then she's crazy. You should always leave anything that destroys you. That is the simple truth. If I have a mother that is being beaten in a marriage, or being treated less than a human being, I will advise her to leave. But that's, that, um, should I call it, that strive 
for equality now is what is causing friction. Okay, yeah, let me talk about that. You know, this whole submission thing, you know it's a religious thing, right? Mm. I have a right to be an atheist. True. It's a religious thing. Even our culture, if you check the Yoruba culture, if you check certain culture, there is nothing like submission. Go back and read the, the women that founded so many cultures in Africa. They were strong women. Nobody treated no. them like they were less than a man. No. But because people are not reading. But what promotes inequality is religion. It is your religion that tells you that a woman, a man is higher than a woman. But if I choose to be an atheist, you don't get to tell me about what your religion says. No. Do you think a man is higher than a woman no. should and should dominate? No, you see, in every... In but ev this is a man's world. Come on. Oh, no. I don't agree with that. See, what... Now, then you're a feminist. No, no. You so. see, no, what, what I am saying is that, you see, every, every... Just like I said, before you are married, you are a human being. And the thing is that every one of us has a voice and we are equal. But the thing is that when it goes to the extreme, then it is called insubordination. See, in every setting, there is always a leader. What is the extreme? So, See, the extreme, the extreme thing about feminism right now is that we compete unnecessarily with the men, How? especially in the home. For uh. instance, for instance, the traditional role of women in family, most women that are career women don't even have time for their children What's anymore. What's the traditional role of a woman in the family? Take care of the house, take care of your children. But when you leave your children alone, just because you have somewhere to go to aspire to, you don't know what happens to those children when you are not there. So what if you so, have an understanding with your husband? Sorry, I'm not trying of course, to oh, oh, Of course, of course. If you have an understanding, it gets to a point where those children need your attention. And you have to pick one. That is just it. So, you have to... <laughs> To get to that point, we are just kids and we say, look, mom, we need you. Look, see, I've, we have watched movies where it's those children that are neglected often indulge in so many activities that when it now gets to that point, the woman will now sit back and start shedding tears and say, oh, had I known. That's, that, that is just the truth. I'm not saying women should not aspire to greater heights. See, I am married. I am a woman. I'm a wife and a mother. I am married. My husband understands some of the things I do. He understands when he needs to take over of the house. But when he gets to that point where I have to compete with my husband in the society, in terms of finance, in terms of who I the leading voice in the house, men, it has gone to the extreme. Okay. Well, we won't let you get to the extreme on this show. We'll take a quick break and the next segment will be fire for fire. fire. You're still watching the big You're welcome back to the most interesting debate show on TV. It is the big issue. Well, this segment is called Fire for Fire. Ladies, in this segment, you can ask yourselves questions, puncture each other's, each other's arguments, interject, but don't get physical. And of course not. mind your language. <laughs> All right, then. Go ahead. Fire yeah. on. I wanted to ask you a question about the last thing you talked about regarding marriage. You, so your only issue now is feminism is breaking homes, right? Is that the only issue? No, not the only. It is one of them. Okay, when you say that, um, I want to give, the part of you talk about career women leaving their children. I'm a feminist. I don't leave my kids. I take care of my kids. Now, most of the issues we even have. You are one of the few, madam. You are one of the what, few. What, who, how many do you know? I, I know many. I do. I okay. really do. I have a friend that has two children. Okay. And she left, she left her husband because her work transferred her to somewhere. And at the end of the day... She left her husband or she left her... I don't understand. Like, she left her husband. She left her family. Well, she left her family. And she and went for a job. Of, yes. Okay, now... Outside I wanna, the home. And I want to ask a you a question. Where if she has to choose... I don't, I, don't, I don't support that. But I want to ask okay. a question. Okay. If the man was leaving his wife and his children for a job, is that okay? Uh, well, in, uh, in the society we are today... The role expected of each individual, what both men role? and women. You in don't the get house. to decide how another woman being. I'm, I ask a very simple question. Of course. If a man leaves his wife, I don't, number four, number one, understand that I am not in support of that woman okay. because I would never leave my children. I was not supposed to put them but in what body. If you well, put your finish. career. I, still, first I am still asking your family. a question. Answer I'm my listening. question. I'm listening, madam. If the woman, if you have a problem with the woman leaving her children, which I am also against, okay. is it okay for the woman, for the man to leave his wife and children and go 
um, fulfill his career. Okay, should I answer that yes. now? Yes. Okay, now, you see, um, just like I said, everyone has a role to play in the family. Now, in Nigerian society, we see men as the breadwinner. The woman, as designed by God and as expected of the society, is supposed to be a helpmate. Okay, man. now, we but know when that. your career is coming first before ah, your family, please, this woman. as a woman, then you have to be Okay, let choice. me ask you a question. You, the, the man is the breadwinner. Of course. Do you know how many women are presently providing for their families? Wait. No, 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 no. Chill. Let us break that thing down. See, no, wait. 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 Down. wait. Let us cut. Let us cut this entire pretentious, no. cultural, there is no social pretense, madam. lie. No, madam. A lot of men are not providing for their families. See, a madam. lot of women are working nine to. You, you don't see. know. You I don't know, I don't know what. Whether, I whether or things. not we agree, whether or not we agree, both men yes, and women are the bread 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 They play in the family. See, okay, the truth so is that you know what? The truth what is if that the men are not providing. What do you want a mother to do? See, if men are not providing, that is when. It comes for time of discussion. Both of you should sit down you and see, discuss that's... how you want to say to your family. Sorry, but okay. when you go out, all in the oh name of career, God. you leave your husband and children. But, oh my God. But I, you don't even know. Do you even you know, know how many? Do you even know how many? Do you know how many homes break? See, we all use Facebook and we all use Twitter, internet and everything. See, let me tell you something. Most of these celebrities that make us talk about feminism and most of them that champion these campaigns, don't, they do otherwise in their homes. As a matter of fact, see, when they want to get married, when their marriage is going fine and the husband is providing for them, they'll tell you, oh, marriage is the most beautiful thing. But when there is a challenge, when there is a breakup, they'll start carrying domestic violence placard the next day. Just imagine. No, we are not talking about feminism. We are not. See, we are talking about okay. responsibility. Okay. Now, I can tell you for a fact. Of course. A lot of celebrities are not feminists. I think you are mixing... You are mixing a lot of things here. You just feel like anytime any woman leaves a marriage, she's a feminist. But, uh, anytime, let me, let me, can, I, can I ask, is okay. it when a woman compliments maybe the role of her husband, tries to provide, because there are so many women out there, of course, yeah. like we said, nine to five, eight to five jobs every day, trying to also put food on the table. Is it feminism or they're just trying it's to be like, that sense. helps me? It's not feminism. No. It's just, you, know, you know what? She... You know, I can't match your passion. Maybe because okay. I'm bored. I've spoken, I've spoken about feminism in Harvard. So I can't match your passion right now. I am almost bored. But it's the okay. thing is, the thing is, I've talked about this thing everywhere in the world. But I will say, because anytime I come to Nigeria, we have to start all over again, talking about something very elementary, about women So is, it, is the problem the do. mindset in Nigeria? It's Let a mindset because we have spent, what, 40 minutes talking about marriage. And I don't talk about people's marriage because of I'm course. not in their homes. Of course, true. I don't know what happens when a woman wears high heels with lipstick and nice makeup and come out of the house. I don't know when she comes to social media and, and praises her husband. I really don't know what's going on in that home. A lot of women have been, they have been structured to be able to cover the sins, their own sins and the sins of their men. I don't judge women on their facial, on their facial uh, appearances. All I know is I don't talk about people's marriages because I'm not in their marriage. So I don't talk about marital feminism because I am not there. I can't tell you who is going to cook your food. I can't tell you when you have sex. I'm not interested. What I know is I have two girls and I want them to be the best that they want to be. And I don't want any man or any society to tell them they cannot do it. That is all I am. But anytime I have conversations with feminism in Nigeria, we are always talking about marriage. And I'm not interested. I keep saying that I'm not interested because I cannot decide for a woman how she wants to bring up her children and how she wants to love and sleep with her husband. Okay, I was discussing this um, topic. <laughs> you know, I was having a discussion with someone about this topic, feminism. And then that one person said, um, maybe we shouldn't be talking about feminism yet. We, are, we, still, we still have so many kinds Issues. of discriminations. Exactly. We have racial discriminations, even ethnic and all other. You know. So why... Feminism, is it yeah, what should I, I, matter I, to I, us I now? I agree with you because that was why I dropped, I even dropped the tag. I don't even, I tell people not to call me a feminist anymore. But I still believe in equality. You know why? Because I think that feminist tag is a distraction from the main thing we should be talking about. My own is, when a girl child needs to strive, allow her to strive. If she's your daughter, allow her. Don't tell her that, eh, eh, is this how you're going to sweep your husband's house? She's not made to be somebody else's property, unless she decides to get married. Let her do whatever she wants to do. I don't spend time talking about people's marriages. And I don't even wear that tag anymore. I put it on Facebook. Do not call me a feminist anymore, because these arguments we are having 
it's very unproductive. My own is, there are so many things happening to the girl child. If you know, we are enjoying here in the south, go to the north. Take a walk to the north and see that 13 year old girls are getting married and then when they get married, they get pregnant and they get VVF. They literally smell for the rest of their life. And then I have to stand here and talk about some crap, about somebody that is talking about family value. Every woman will have to decide how they want to value their family. It is not my job. My own is a 13 year old girl should not be getting married. And if she's getting married, a society must be able to tell you this is wrong. So I am not picking, I don't care about what a woman is. A woman and a man in the bedroom, you don't get to decide how they live. We are just here talking about family value, no family value, yada, 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 yada. You don't know. The next thing you know is you open the paper and you hear a pediatrician dies. It is not your job to tell a woman when to stay and when to leave. I am saying that as long as the girl child is not treated as equally as the boy child, then something is wrong with that society. Okay, maybe, um, uh, let me, let, let me, let me, let you respond to her now because I believe the family is also a unit in the society. That is where so maybe one way or the other, family. what happens from the that family? Is where, see, Mr. Femi, that is where everything starts from. See, if we talk about feminism from today to tomorrow, we'll still, we'll still get back to the family value. See, every child, every one of us comes from a home. See, if we don't have somebody... But outside the family, how does it affect, let's say, um, in social strata now? Okay, how, it, how, it, how, does it, how does it apply? Okay, you see, um, female and male, they also have their responsibility in the society. The idea of feminism was just to have equal right to vote, to have equal right to aspire to any career. So, you see, just like she said, everybody has um, their own saying in their marital life. So does career. Everybody has a choice in the career. See, but what I'm saying right now is that feminism has gone beyond the point where it is just to um, aspire to your career. It is just for you to vote. It's just for you to be equal. Women now have this mentality of competing with the man. And see, the way feminism is going so is now, it they wrong? are raising Is it girls. wrong to compete with the man? It is wrong. It is absolutely wrong. Because if you are a spiritual person, whatever um, spiritual okay, value spiritual you have, Person. If you have a spirit, talk to the unspiritual uh, person. Okay, okay, okay. Whether you don't see, they used they used to say two sailors cannot steer a ship. True. That's just the truth. The man is the head of the home. You are only there to compliment. It, whether you are an astronaut, remember you are a wife. Whether you are a doctor, remember you are a mother. Whether you are a, remember you are somebody's helpmate. Remember that yes, this man is my man. I'm not oh saying God. that you should not choose who, whatever you want to do. Look, I am a writer and I still want to go back to, stu to study psychology. You see, that point, that decision, I have discussed it with my husband. And if we get to that point... Okay, let me ask you a question. If course. your husband says no, what would you do? If he says no, of course we'll have further discussion. And if he keeps saying no, what would you do? See, see, as as a, as yes a, no, 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 no. See, as a matter of fact, what if he see, says, let I me don't tell you something. That is why, that is I why, I madam, can't, please, I can't let me this. just have a say. Please. I ask a question. No, you're having a say. You are the only one. You no. are having a performance here. No, I am not. You, are I, you said I you're a very, very simple question. I haven't if asked you any questions. But you should ask her questions too. See, 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 madam. You said if my husband asks me to, if my husband says no, of course we will have further discussion. And then if he says no, I'm going to further. Discussion. I know the man I, I got married to. And before we got married, we discussed. Okay. We discussed okay. everything. I told him so when I when 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 I got married to my husband, I oh, had only Jesus. a mass communication degree. And at that point, I made him to understand I'm still going further to study psychology. And my husband said, You can be whatever you want to be. Okay. That's now it. it's very simple. The, no, she the, asked um, what if your husband said no? Would you have no, dropped your dreams? No. I won't. You would See, have gone the, ahead. The kind of person I am, I have multi-million dollar dreams. Mm. If my husband says no, I can walk from my house and study psychology on the internet. Okay. <laughs> That's it. So, what if you can, what if it's something you cannot study on the internet and he says no? And what if he says you cannot study it on the internet? But let's uh, not go, let's not go, let's not uh, go uh, there. Uh, let's not go uh, there. Uh, it's not, all right, let's hear them out. There's something you said I want to talk about. You know what? This whole, I mean, I can't even win this discussion in Nigeria. I don't care. But I'll just entertain myself. Okay. This discussion here is, you said that um, you know the kind of man you married. Of course. The woman who is being abused, 
she probably knows the kind of she probably you know or we she can't, thought she knew she thought she something knew something had gone she, wrong yes of course something you, had you would gone know, wrong you would know perhaps that perhaps the woman didn't submit to her husband okay so and if the you man don't is trying okay to show so if you don't submit so if you family. don't submit to a husband see, it's okay to beat the woman see submission doesn't have to be when I am you asking a question now it is simple things like my dear what do you think I should do it is simple things like okay my dear how do you take care of this children I think there was a there was a debate no. there was a debate one time uh, um, about tennis players I about to tennis players no. the prize money for um, the men category is higher than the prize money for the female category and then people brought up this argument that we're all playing tennis why can't we have the same prize money the same see, prize money the same prize money that a rafael nadal would get should be see, the same prize money that a serena mr. williams Femi, should get mr. Femi, that one is a different discussion no it when is it still it is Femi still talking Femi. about equality of here course, of course of course of course you see that 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 is when you have a round table and say, look, this is a problem. And we have to address this. You know this. you're the only one when talking to yourself and answering I'm, your questions. No, I'm talking to Mr. Can Femi. I you're ask talking, I'm not question. the only one here. I don't understand. <laughs> you just keep going on and on. Now, you said something. I talked about an abusive, uh, and a woman, a woman that is being abused. And Wait, you said have we ever stopped to think that men are being abused too? Have we ever seen? Let me tell you, when, when we talk about abuse, we always think it's when a woman brings swollen eyes. See, men are being abused in today's relationship. If you yes. deny your husband sex, you are abusing him. That's it. <laughs> okay. Well done. All right. Ah, that's like that. Yeah. Okay. I want to go back to the abused woman. Okay. And I said that. The abused woman knows her husband. She thought she knew, and you and you said that maybe she did not submit to her husband. Are you saying that when a woman doesn't submit to her husband, she should be beaten? She should face domestic Never. violence? Never. No. So what do you mean that maybe it's maybe she did not submit to her husband? That is why she is having the problems she's having in a marriage. Okay. I'm. I'm um, let me just say this. Perhaps I use the word submission, and I was just about explaining what submission really is. See, just like I said, it is not until when you have to pack um, your husband's deficacy before you are submitting. It is when you you have that mutual respect for each other. Both men and women should learn to respect each other. See, when we talk about abused women, look, most women. They, they pronounce verbal abuse on their husband to the point that they get, the men get angered and, you know, you have to resort to beating to shut some women up. So maybe okay, they can so, abuse you to the point that you're just okay, so when, having something else. Okay, so when a woman... When a woman verbally abuses a man, it gives the man the right to physically I am not abuse the woman. I am your woman. I so am what are you really standing what for? What I am standing for is that whether you are you want to be an astronaut, an aeronautic engineer, what I'm saying is that don't forget that you have a husband, you have children, and you have a home to protect. We have heard that one. Now I'm going to the nitty gritty of family. I'm okay. asking you family questions and okay. submission and yes. the place of the woman. And I'm saying that at what point, because your conversations keep going round and round, Make at skeptical. what point do you say that abuse is justified? No, it's never justified. So when a woman, ref when a woman decides not to submit and the man abuses her, what do you, are you, are you saying They need to see thing? a counsellor. All right, all right, simple. all right, all right. Thank you. Okay. You guys, you guys are, it, the race is getting interesting. But a uh, beautiful audience here would also have um, questions. Yes. For you, Titi, and Joy Isi Bewaji. And that will be after the break. You're still watching The Big Issue. <laughs> Issue. Welcome back. It's time for our audience to weigh in on feminism and its many controversies. We have Rita. Riri I. She's a blogger, um, the publisher of RiriI.com. Thank you very much. I'm in support of the feminist movement okay. against yours, your own. The thing is, there is a writer, he said, men who marry feminists enjoy stable relationship and greater sexual satisfaction, which is a fact. Mm -hmm. And I agree. I agree. 
our discussion here so far has limited, and in fact, it's just based on, on marriage, marriage. I'm tired. Which is not. I'm bored. It is not only about marriage. When you talk about okay. feminism, we're talking about your decision, what you want to do, how you teach people, how you train people, how you allow the, fe the female folks to do whatever they want to do. In the first place, this movement makes us realize our self-love, realize ourselves, know who we are, respect and appreciate our women folk. Like he said, two groups playing the same thing. They pay the men more than the women. Aren't they doing the same thing? So why should they be paid two different salaries when we're playing and doing the same thing? No, it shouldn't be. And then another thing is, Last it gives thing. us a sense of belonging. There's something called taboo. In the northern parts, they see sex as taboo. But when there is a feminist movement, they discuss this particular issue, and then the women are able to talk about it. Then when you're in the house, you'll be able to tell perhaps your partner that this is what I want, this is how I want you to do it. If they are being limited, if they are being submissive, if they are being brought down, they don't understand what they do, they will not be able to speak out. We should be able to pick whatever we want, go wherever we want to go. And I disagree to the fact that you said it makes men, or it makes us see men as trash. No. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Show is a researcher and a public affairs analyst. Um, thank you, Femi. Anatomically, in terms of strength, nature has shown us, has revealed to us, obviously, men are stronger. And be brief, please. Now, I'll be brief. Now, this is what I'm trying to say. In trying to solve a problem of the oppression of the women folk, we should not try to create another problem. And this is where I'm going. The idealists, or those that are pushing for feminism, should be very careful. Well, let's define that term properly. And let there be a unified definition. When you say equal opportunity, I agree with that. And in history, we have seen that women, at one time or the other, have proven themselves strong. Of course. I've been taught by women. I have had um, you know, a woman as colleagues who taught me things, who, 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 who stood in, in the place of being a teacher, and they've taught me. Now, but they've taken the arguments beyond the social environment, beyond, what, uh, uh, beyond equal opportunity, and they have brought it into the home front. And when we are talking about the family institution, in every institution there must be a leader. Yes. And in nature, there is a leader. Thank you. And because of strength, man is the leader of the house. Thank you. And that must be protected. If it is not, you will always receive the backlash. All right. Thank That's you. It. Thank you. I'll Joy, I'll let you uh, maybe respond to some of these comments. 30 seconds, and then I'll let her respond before I mm. take other questions. 30 seconds. Are you quickly. a researcher? That's very, that's very important. I, I don't understand. When we, when we talk about nature and all those things, I don't understand it. This is, very, this is a very straightforward situation. If we're having issues with the home, how is this a feminist problem? It is a social problem. It's a society problem. People need to come together and understand what is happening in the modern society. Why are there issues in the home? They need to start to tackle the boarding situations that are bringing itself up. Even a phone, an ordinary phone, is being reviewed every other month. You have a techno. Techno has moved from being trash to be one of the high-tech um, phones in, in, in the world. But we are still in Nigeria. Our marriage institution has been the way it has been since our four, our great grandmothers. You have, it has not been reviewed. Nobody has right. sat down to understand All what right. is going it's not, on. It's not time for you to Who respond. Who is talking about U.S.? You are a researcher. All right, Am then. All right. Quickly. Thank you. Quickly, 30 Thank seconds. You see, um, um, she, the blogger said um, we are bringing marital life into it. And just like I said, again and again, see, no matter how much we talk about feminism, we are still going to talk about marriage because that is where everything ends. See, an unhappy wife can never perform in any height of her career. If, an, if a woman is unhappy in her marriage, see, it will tell on her whether she's a doctor or whatever she is. Because, but, but the thing is, Look, I am not, I'm in support but of... But what if her unhappiness is caused by the man's refusal to let her fulfill her dreams? Next question. Oh, if you are saying to us now that um, you are a feminist and I appreciate you for that, good news and good job. But this is the point. 
if your feminism gets to a point that you now contest authority with the man, every man, no matter how little he is, wants to feel he's the man. And at the time you are telling the man is not a man, you see the beast in him. And so please, preach feminism, but then let's also promote our family values. Thank you very much. Like you said the other time, and she was talking about maybe the tennis um, game and the women tends to receive the more disparity. Than the, yeah. Okay. However, have you sat down to think about all these beauty pageants and all, and maybe the mister or something, and then the woman tends to win a car, and the guy tends to just laptop. go with a laptop? The guy, the guy have you not seen it? The guys win and cars. Apart from that, okay. The guys you, win cars. How many guys have you seen <laughs> winning the car? Because most of the, the cars guys, I see, most of the cars the I see outside. Win. Sorry, can I don't, just don't, finish? Don't, All right, most don't of the, say that. Most the of the cars you cars. see outside, you either see Miss No, Miss oh, Distin, kind of Miss This the one, guys Miss cars. That one. On, please. And if the, um, when you were talking about, okay, you, are not, you have not been in Nigeria or you have gone to Harvard to preach or whatever. Yeah. Most of them in that country. And if you check outside the country, you see that the guys there, if you break up with your wife or something, the woman, uh, the woman obviously has the chance and the opportunity to take, I think, more, over 50% of the property you have. So obviously, in that kind of country, me as a man that I know I've labored for this kind of thing, I would not want to leave my wife because I can't imagine myself giving her like 60% of what can I've worked I, for. I, it's not possible. All right, you, ha you, 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 you should answer. Okay, I want to I wanna ask you a few questions, yeah? You said that, uh, are you trying, do you, would you like to go to America? Oh, you want to go to America? But you, you have a problem with their marital institution. Okay, so but you now said that when there is a problem, the woman takes 50% of the stuff. In Nigeria, in Nigeria, what happens when, when, a, man, when a woman and a man Same leave? Thing. What happens? Same thing. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, what I'm happens? answering anyway. In, in, in Nigeria, don't lie to me. In Nigeria, when a woman leaves her husband, what happens? See. I am talking to someone. Relax. I, I thought don't I was worry. the aggressive. I thought I was the feminist here. I thought I was the, I was supposed to be the aggressive sorry, one. Sorry, sorry. So relax, relax. Continue. These are your people. Relax. Continue. I'm asking a question. <laughs> when, <laughs> yes, when you, no, answer the question. What happens when a woman, when a man and a woman ends a marriage in Nigeria? With what? With what? With what? With what? They have their own money already. Are you a student? Stop, Femi, can I talk? Let's move on, please. Okay, then. Um, there's, also, there's also a research, I think, among black Americans. There was a research conducted that among black Americans, we have um, many people working, many people, they, we have this friction between the guys and, of course, the ladies, probably in the homes because of this ideology called feminism. When you leave a marriage in Nigeria, there is no alimony, there is no child support. Most That's Nigerian women, when they leave their marriages, they live with nothing. That's there is a woman I am... Please, be quiet. When, there's a woman I am presently taking care of right now. Lie. There was a woman I am presently taking care of right now. The woman, the husband, they were middle class in Ibadan. The husband died. The woman left middle class. She was selling puff puff on the streets. She issues. has nothing to her name. We have to come together to take care of that. Those kind of things will never happen in America. It will it's never happen in America. Because there is a situation that protects the woman. Because they know that a woman and a man is equal. And when you come together, your resources belong to the two of you. Right, we have a last, last question. For who? Who's your question directed at? And it has to be very brief. I hope it's a question. My name is Owana. I'm in support of um, a feminism movement. In most part of the world, in most part of the world, women are not enjoying being respected properly and nor have their right foot uh, placed in the society. Um, another one that happened, there's still uh, some cultures that though most of the injustice has been corrected in the Western world. But in most part of the world, we still have some cultures, especially in Niger Nigeria, where women are terribly mistreated. And this is tragic. For God's sake, women are precious gifts. Gifts from God to the world. <laughs> women are talented. So they possess natural, women possess natural ability to do well. Women are sensitive. Women are compassionate. They are creative. They can bring in new innovative. Women are intelligent. They are good at learning. 
they are they are good they, are, they understand right. things very right. so what's your question my question is <laughs> what can we do for women okay. to have the equal uh, equal opportunity so who is your question directed at yeah. okay let's go hold on let's get our question clearly your question is what can we do for something that what can we do for men to have the equal opportunity as men for women to have equal, equal opportunities opportunity. as men. men all right titi See, um, can yes. we can we have can we have that ideal situation where um, men and women can see, have equal opportunities see, let that's me, let our me question tell you, Mr. Femi. see in nigeria today of course in some part of Nigeria, women are still being mistreated. No doubt about that. And I'm not in support of abuse, whether mental, whether physical, or whatsoever. But what I'm saying is, even the Western world that we copy, they go to that point where they sat down and say, okay, women should do this and men should do that. They have, see, they have been in that situation before. But because they saw the adverse effect, they sat down and say, okay, let women go to school. Let women have the right to vote. And we are there in Nigeria. Women can vote. See, as a matter of fact, you said when you leave your husband in Nigeria, are you entitled? to do something the answer is yes that is why you have to do a court marriage when you are married legally whatever your husband has you take him to court if you want to have if you want to dissolve the marriage you have the right to ask for 50 percent <laughs> i have read the marriage yeah house. right i read the child right here. yeah Everything. right see it is only when you are if you don't go to court and marry and, 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 and the thing is, uh, and the thing is, see, we, women, we tend to want to have everything. We, we, we tend to want to, see, no matter what, in every area of life, you, exactly. you can gain some, all you right. have to lose some. Lose some. That's all right, all right, thank you uh, very much. A round of applause for our debaters. <laughs> well, we'll take a short break at this point, and when we return, it will be time to draw the curtains on the I big know. issue. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, it's been an interesting debate today. Feminism. Well, it doesn't really matter your standpoint. One thing is very important. Women should be respected. Women's rights are human... Is, a women's rights is human rights too. Well, that's been the show today. And as the umpire on this show, I would ask both of you to just shake hands. <laughs> All right, round of applause for them. All right, thank you everyone for being a part of the show today. You can connect with me on Twitter at Femi Akonde TVC. You can also connect with us here at TVC on TVC Connect and also at TVC News NG. Thank you for watching The Big Issue.